kids' storybooks are dead, or at least that is what most people think. But if that were really true, why are stores like this pulling in thousands of dollars every single month? What if I told you a simple kids' storybook with just two sentences per page could make you $700 per day? Sound right, right? I get it. If I'm in your shoes, I will be skeptical too. But this is not just some clickbait headline or empty hype. I've got real proof read data and read results let's take a look at this one book for example it's got over 5,000 sales made more than 190 thousand dollars and it's still bringing an aesthetic of three thousand nine hundred dollars every single month without ads without a big team and without any fancy publishing deal and no this isn't a fluke there are tons of creators using the same simple strategy to turn short print on the mark kids books into passive income machine now i know what you're probably thinking come on they must know something the rest of us don't and you know what for once you are actually right they do know a secret but guess what i know that secret too and in this video i'm going to expose everything i will show you not only how they did it but also how you can steal the same exact strategy to create your own wide successful print on demand kit story book even though you've never written anything in your life now i'm not going to sit here and promise that you'll make one hundred and ninety thousand dollars overnight that's pretty wild but clearly not impossible since this person did it but let's be real even a few extra thousand dollars per month could completely change your life whether that's money to pay off debt, help with rent, or just finally fund your dream vacation is worth learning, right? Here is what I can promise. By the end of this video, you will have everything you need to start publishing your own kid storybook using the print-on-demand model and turning them into income-producing assets. So, if you're ready to learn how to create this book, market them, and start making sales without touching inventory, let's not waste any more time. But real quick, do me a small favor. Hit that like button and subscribe if you are into real and honest ways to make money on Line. it helps this video to reach more people who need this information maybe someone just like you all right so let's jump into step number one which is finding your target audience now when it comes to creating kids storybook you might think well kids are kids right but here's the thing not all kids are the same different age groups have different interests attention spans and what their parents are willing to buy of course the parents are the one buying the books so we have to put the kids into consideration and the parents as well so while doing my research, I realized that toddlers, which are from 2 to 3, 4, love bright pictures, simple stories, and parents buy this type of books for education or bedtime. While preschoolers, which are 4 to 6, love imagination and adventure books. And these types of books are perfect for personalized books. Parents and grandparents love them. Early readers, which are 6 to 8, love fun characters, humor, and life lessons. At this stage, kids start picking what they like. But for me, 4 to 6 is the spotlight. Why? Because parents and grandparents love buying personalized books for these age groups. The stories don't have to be super long, just engaging and fun. Plus, personalized books for this age group sounds like crazy because they made the child feel really special. Imagine the kids saying their name as a hero in a magical adventure. Parents can resist that, so do kids. Now that we have our target audience logged in, let's move on to step two brainstorming your book idea but thank goodness you don't have to crack your head for ideas thanks to ai going to use deepseek ai think of it like chat super smart cousin to help us come up with amazing story ideas for kids for to see. all you need to do is feed it a simple prompt and it will do the heavy lifting here's the prompt i use give me 10 simple fun and engaging story ideas for a personalized storybook for age four to six each story should feature the child as a main character and include a magical adventure or a valuable life lesson they've seek we spread out a list of ideas in seconds so you're just going to go through it and pick the top three ideas you like so you can start creating your book one after the other i will talk more about this later in the video all right now that we've got our story idea let's move on to step three writing the story and we are going to let this seed do the heavy lifting as well. Here's the prompts I use to get a full story written. Write me a 24 page children's story for age 4 to 6. Inside these brackets, you are going to insert your story idea. Just copy the one you like and insert that story right here. Make it fun, engaging, and include the child's name as a main character. Keep the language simple and have a valuable life lesson or magical twist. Click on send and DeepSeek will start generating the stories for you. The whole 24 page. So you see, with AI, everything is possible. You don't need to be a storyteller to write fun and adventurous stories anymore. Just ask and it will be given. This is a 24 page ready for you to start adding to your manuscript 
which brings us to the next step, which is creating the illustrations. This is where things get really fun. We are going to use a free tool called Leonardo AI to generate stunning and detailed images for our book. But here's the thing, we don't want just any random image, we want an illustration that are relevant to the story and bring it to life. So here's how we are going to do it. We will ask DeepSeek to write a detailed prompt for Leonardo AI, then we'll feed that prompt into Leonardo to generate the perfect illustration for the story. Here's a prompt I use for DeepSeek. Write a detailed prompt for an illustration based on this page of the story. The image should be colorful, whimsical, and suitable for children books. Include details like the certain characters and key action happening in the scene. Deep Seek will start writing the prompt. Then you will take that prompt, head over to Leonardo AI, sign up for a free account. Then once you're on this interface, you want to first have the right setting. Click on this model, then select Concept Art. Paste the prompt we copied from Deep Seek and click Create. You will now have your first image created for you. Then go back to Deep Seek, copy the second prompt for the second page, then paste it here. This time, you want to make sure that the image from the first page is consistent throughout the story. To do this, click on the image icon, then select character reference, then click on your generations and add your first image. So you can get a consistent character for your next page. You can do this for every image you generate to ensure consistency across your illustrations. But to be transparent, generating a consistent character requires a paid monthly plan, which costs only $12 a month. And in my opinion, it is a worthy investment. But if you want to create random images, that's up to you, but I would not recommend it. So I'll click generate and you will see how it copies the style of the first character. Repeat this process for every page and you have a fully illustrated book in no time. Now that we've got our illustrations, let's move on to step five, designing the book layout. The next step is creating the actual book and we are going to use Canva.com. If you don't know about Canva, it's a free design tool where you can create any kind of design like thumbnails, logo, social media posts. And today I'm going to show you how to use it to create your own book. Go to canva.com. I will leave the link in the description down below for you to sign up for free if you haven't already. Once you sign in, you will see this interface. You want to come to this part where it says custom size, click on it, and here you need to type in the size of the book you want to create. Since this is a kid's storybook, it's mostly square shape. First of all, you want to change the size to 17,304, and then here you want to click 8.75 and click on create new design. And this canvas will be open for you to start designing your book. Because I already have my image generated in Lunado AI and saved to my computer, I will just click upload and start uploading the magical illustration we have created. Okay, now that we have the images on this side of Canva, it's time to start designing the cover. So I'm going to click on this one to use for the cover because I know it will attract my potential customers when it's up for sale. So I'll move this to the side and drag it to fill the front cover. For the back cover, I can just add a blank shape, drag it to fill the back and make sure that the color complements the front cover. We now have the images set well on the canvas. Now it's time to add text to the book so our target audience know what the book is about. Please avoid using script style fonts or any other font that are not bold and easy to read. I will use the Montserrat font and add the title to the cover. You can add a stroke if you feel it's not visible enough and a stroke also makes the text more playful, especially when creating a book like this. The book is coming together and it's almost complete, but we still need to add a story. To start designing the manuscript, go back to the custom size option and you want to put it in inches and then write 8.5 by 8.5 inches and click on create design. And you will take it to Canva where you can start working on your pages. For the first page, you want to drag and drop your illustration into the design. Resize to make sure it fills the space appropriately. Once that's done, you can move on to adding the text. Head over to DeepSeek and grab the text for page one. Then simply copy and paste it into your Canva design. Make sure you position the text in a dark area of the image for better readability. If the text too isn't clear enough, you can add a shape. Adjust the shape color to white and place the text over it. You can also tweak the transparency of the shape to create a more cleaner and polished look. When it comes to front, choose something that is easy to read, 
This is important for both parents and kids to enjoy the reading experience. It's all about keeping things simple and legible. That's it. It's really just uploading your images, placing them on each page, and copying and pasting the text. Anyone can do this. Save the file as a template so you can edit it for each customer. Once your design is ready, export a few sample pages using common names like Ava or Liam to showcase in your lesson. I will show you how to do that later in this video. If you find this helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Your support means a lot and it helps me to continue to create content to help you. Thank you for your support. Now that we have completed the book, the next step is figuring out where to sell it. Why Amazon KDP is great for general books when it comes to personalized children books, Etsy is the best platform. And here is why. Etsy allows full personalization so you can sell books that include a child's name, birthday, and even photo, making them a profit gift. Plus, Etsy buyers are often looking for unique and thoughtful presents, which makes a book stand out. And the best part, you don't even need to handle creating or shipping. It's all print on demand. So let's dive in on how to list your children's book on Etsy and start making sales. Step 1. Set up your Etsy shop first. Head over to Etsy.com slash sales and create your free Etsy seller account. Follow the seller prompts, choose the shop name, currency, and country. Step 2. Now it's time to create your product listing. Title example. Personalized kids storybook custom name book for toddlers and birthdays. And for your description, you want to write a warm, compelling description that explains what the book is and why it is special, and also how to order. Here's an example description. Looking for a perfect gift for Shad? This adorable storybook includes your Shad's name woven into every page of a magical adventure, perfect for birthdays, holidays, or just because. Then right here, you want to include a simple step-by-step -step instruction in the description. First, you want to write something like, add your child's name in the personalized box. Two, choose your preferred book style, soft cover or hard cover. Three, we take care of the rest, printing and shipping it to your doorstep. Make sure to turn on this personalization button. This helps you collect the name of the child. Step number four, pricing. Personalized books typically sell for $25 to $35, depending on the length and quality. Production cost for a POD platform might be $8 to $12, so you're looking at making $15 to $20 profit per se. You can offer up sales like gift packaging, custom messages, or multiple copies to make extra buck. Fulfill orders with print on demand is where the magic happens. Once a customer places an order, you update the chat names in Canva and not spot it as a personalized PDF, upload it as a final file to your print-on-demand partner. When it comes to Kid Storybook, the go-to platform will be Lulu. If you don't have a Lulu account, you can sign up for free. I'm going to leave the link down in the description for you. All you have to do is upload the final file. Lulu is perfect for printing high-quality children books in hard copy or soft copy. At the moment, Lulu does not integrate with Etsy like Printify does, but if a customer places an order, you can manually add the customer shipping details. But if you have your own website, like maybe a Shopify store, you can integrate it directly to Lulu. Lulu handles printing and global shipping for you. So no inventory, no packaging, and no stress. Step number six is marketing. As you already have built-in audience, but if you want to control how much you make, promoting your book and getting it in front of people is the key. The first way to promote your book effectively is using tools like E-Rank or Mama Lab to find keywords that people are searching for. Optimize your title, tags, and description for maximum results. The second option is Pinterest. Make pins showcasing your book with text like, your child's name becomes the hero in this book. Pinterest is great for gift-related products, especially during holiday seasons. Another way to get things rolling fast is by running ads if you have the budget. You can start as low as $5 per day to target keywords like custom kids book, personalized kids book, gift for toddlers, personalized bedtime story, and any other relevant keyword. Encourage reviews after customers receive their book, follow up with a kind message, asking them to leave a review. Review build trust and help you rank higher on Etsy search. If you want to keep your option open, you can download the book on Canva as PDF and also sell on Amazon KDP, but this time not as personalized storybook, okay? So Etsy is great for personalized storybook, but you can also shine on Amazon with non-personalized storybooks. You're not just selling a product, you are offering a keepsake, a gift, and a moment that families will treasure forever. And the best part, with just one story template, you can serve hundreds of customers. 
with every book feeling brand new to them. This isn't just about publishing a kid story, it's about creating a digital product that sells while you sleep. You put in the work once and that one book can generate income every single month for years to come. Whether you end up making $500 a month or building your whole six-figure publishing brand, the opportunity is real and it's wide open, waiting for you to just start. Drop a comment if you're ready to start your first book and I will send you my free Etsy starter guide to help you get going faster.